Hey guys, what's up? It's Techie Junior here and in today's video I'm going to show you some tricks and tips for using the Windows operating system. So, let's get started. So if you're a frequent user of the con Windows control panel, then this trick is for you. What you want to do is just right click on the desktop and click on new folder. Now just hit backspace to uh, so you can rename the folder. Now what you want to do is just, uh, uh, you want to just copy and paste some text into this uh, uh, folder na name field. I put, you can get the text from the description below. So yeah, you can you can just paste the text using Control V. Now just click Enter. Now when you click on this folder, you, you should get a list of all the possible settings available in the Control Panel. Yeah. So you can now now you can rename the folder to uh, whatever you want. Uh, when you create this folder, the default is God Mode. So you can just rename it to whatever you want. I'm just gonna rename it to Control Panel. Yep, and it still works. So yeah, this is a pretty neat trick. This trick will help you get the password of your home Wi-Fi, which many of us tend to forget because our devices auto connect to it. So, um, so to know your Wi-Fi password, you just click the Start key. And then in the search bar type CMD and just click on uh, command prompt. Oops. Yeah. Now uh, you have to type the following command uh, net sh wlan show profile name equals and after the equals sign you need to put your Wi-Fi name to put your Wi-Fi name so this is my Wi-Fi name space key equals clear okay so there's like a ton of information about your Wi-Fi network but what we're looking for is the security uh, security sec settings uh, section and we're looking for the last line key content because after it, uh, immediately after the colon, is your Wi-Fi pa wi password. This is possibly one of the coolest tricks in Windows. So, to do this trick, uh, you have to open the command prompt again, which you can do by typing CMD in the search bar and just clicking on command prompt. Oops. Yeah. Now, you need to switch to your alternative drive, which is the D drive. So, just switch there, like so. Now, you need to type the following command md aux forward slash and um, if you go to your file explorer if you open it and go to your d drive you should see that a folder named aux has been created now the now this folder right here is undeletable you cannot delete it or rename it manually so let me just show you try and show you this is delete then nope it Gives me that this is no longer located in the D drive. I think it's maybe invisible to the computer. Don't know why. And so even if you like try to rename it, like uh, so, if we go and rename and rename it to something like Ox One, could not find this item. And so it cannot be renamed. It cannot be deleted. It just sits there. Now, so uh, if you want to now, one, if you are tired of seeing that this folder is sitting there in the uh, file explorer, you want to delete it. The command for that is rd ox forward slash, and when you open it again, you should see that the folder has del has been deleted. Now you might be wondering uh, why do we need to use a command prompt for creating the folder? We could have created this folder manually. Well, that's not true. You cannot create a folder with the name ox manually like I'll just show you I'll go new folder have a type aux give me another specified device name is invalid so it, can, it doesn't let me create the name manually so yeah 
Now, aux is not the only keyword which you can use to, to do this trick. There are about 20 more keywords that uh, that will work instead of aux. I'll put them below in the description if you like to try them. For this trick, you need to open Microsoft Word. Uh, so, just open it. And uh, once you open a new document, you have to type equals rand. Uh, opening and closing brackets and then hit enter now you'll see that you get about three parallel of some uh, random text this trick is useful if you want to test out some new font or some new uh, text size or something so so this quickly inserts some sample text so you can see how the new font or the new size looks uh, on the document overall um, so yeah in fact, you can control the amount of text that gets inserted by uh, typing a uh, typing some numbers inside this parenthesis. So let me just type it uh, two comma three. So the first number here is uh, basically is the is the number of paragraphs you want, and uh, over and this second number after the comma is the number of lines per paragraph. You hit enter, you'll see that you got two paragraphs with three sentences each now there are a couple of variants to this trick um, so instead of equals rand if you type equals rand dot old opening closing brackets you'll get some different text this will be the traditional the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog which as most of you will know contains all the 26 letters of the alphabet so yeah this is the first variant the second variant is uh, a little more interesting you have to type equals lorem and you get some um, ancient latin text so yeah it's pretty cool it's a pretty uh, cool uh, trick of ms word this trick helps you to hide secret text behind an ordinary looking text file uh, so for this thing we'll again need to use command prompt so just open it yeah second yep so now you need to type the following command uh, notepad space now you need to type the uh, the name of the text file behind which your secret text will hide it can be just any, any ordinary name i'll just keep it to hello.txt you need to add txt at the end colon and now what the text you enter will be the name of secret compartment where your uh, secret text will uh, be stored think of it like a password to your secret data i'm just going to keep it i'm going to write uh, my secret data now uh, when you open you get something you cannot find the hello something you should just click yes on it just create a new file and now just type the secret text you want i'll just uh, type this is my secret data and just say by hitting control s just close it and uh, if you open the file explorer and go to the location where you saved it i it in the d drive and if you open the hero.txt file that is that you uh, say that file will be totally empty there will be nothing in it in fact you can type some ordinary looking text in it um, it's not going to uh, affect your secret data i'm just going to keep it like hello guys control this and okay now if you want to uh, again uh, access your secret data you need to type the exact same command as above so yeah just enter and this is and the uh, secret text you enter will appear i would strongly advise not to use this trick to store confidential information like passwords and credit card numbers because this is not the best way to uh, to store and protect your data anyone with and anyone with uh, a slight technical uh, knowledge will be able to access your data so yeah i'd suggest you use, use more secure methods like encryption to store your text data but this is a really useful trick to just store some any information you want so guys that's all for today thanks for watching this video do leave a like subscribe to my channel if you know any other cool windows tricks do let me know in the comment section and again thanks for watching